The eruptions began almost two weeks ago and have shown no signs of slowing down. Cumbre Vieja has left a devastating trail. So far, over 600 buildings have been destroyed and more than 6,000 people have had to evacuate. Thankfully, no lives have been lost. The lava reached the sea earlier in the week and that has caused a chemical reaction with the cold water to produce toxic gases and particles that have been released into the atmosphere. Firefighters have been concerned about the air quality as potentially dangerous levels of both chlorine and sulfur are now being registered. We're likely to impose measures to restrict people's movement outdoors. This is aimed at protecting the population. The smell of sulfur, the smell of rotten eggs will probably be more intense throughout the valley and its surroundings. Now, estimates vary on how long this eruption will last, with scientists saying it could be anywhere from between three weeks to three months. Now, the last time La Palma witnessed volcanic activity was 50 years ago, and that was a short eruption. The local residents will be hoping that history repeats itself. The Spanish government has pledged emergency help for those who have lost everything. They have offered $12 million to the island, about half of which will go to rebuilding houses for those left homeless. But that figure would likely have to increase if the eruption spread. This volcano has been harder to predict. Right now, there is a new fissure opening on the north side. So we may see lava flowing in a different direction. That would be a very bad turn of events. Lava would then spread to new areas, causing more destruction. The unpredictable nature of the Cumbre Vieja eruption has had a devastating impact on the lives of its residents. The physical, economic and psychological damage could be felt for years to come. Rahul Pathak, CGTN, Madrid.